Grace and peace to you, oh my beloved. This is the day the Lord has made. This is Pastor Pimpon here. Let us rejoice and be glad in this day. Today is the 14th day of the eighth month of the year 2021. Uh, the temperature here is 80 degrees Fahrenheit, making it 26.7 uh, degrees Celsius. And by God's grace, you are well, wherever you are, and I am also well here. Okay, the Lord being so good to all of us. Okay, listen, today I want to share a word with all of us from the book of 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 4. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 through 5. In that scripture, Paul, writing to Timothy, is letting Timothy know that what is going to happen in the last days in the last days, and we live in those last days, okay? We live in the last days. Mockers will say, well, we've been saying this all along, and so we say the last days, but look, God's time is not our time. When God says, when we talk about the last days, on God's timetable, it could be a thousand years more, it could be 500 years more, it could be a uh, hundred uh, well, years more, it could be um, uh, 50 years, but whatever it is, we are in the last days, and Paul was admonishing Timothy. And he writes, he says, Now the Spirit speaks expressly that in the last days, things you and I have to look for, in the last days, some shall depart from the faith. Beloved, that is a very powerful statement Paul made. In the last days, some shall depart from the faith. Now, you cannot depart from what you have not been in. And that's what we have to get into our hearts and mind. You cannot depart from something that you have not been in or been part of. You know, so this really, uh, this really debunks that doctrine of one saved, always saved, eternal security, and that it's not possible for somebody who has been saved to lose his salvation, and all that kind of lies, okay? It debunks it. It debunks it. Because read it carefully. It said, now the Spirit speaks expressly that in the last days, some shall depart from the faith. They will abandon their, their, their belief in Christ. They will depart from the faith, and they'll be giving heed to seducing spirits, and doctrines of devils. Now, when you move over to the book of First John chapter 4, it talks about, beloved, don't believe in every spirit, but try them. But here he tells us that these are individuals who abandon the faith and who will give hate to uh, strange spirits, spirits of the devil. They will seducing spirit, seducing. When we talk about very seductive, seducing spirit, it's talking of something that uh, pertains to maybe a prostitute or whatever. But you have spirits that are leo, seductive spirit, they are leo, they are leo you. And how do they allure you? They allure you with strange, with things that are appealing to the flesh. And we have in these last days, spirits that are on and what do they talk about? Prosperity, money, 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 money. These are all allurements, things to allure you, things to cause you to take, turn your attention, your focus off Christ and center it on material things. And this is, it says, they're giving, they're giving hate to seducing spirits and, this, and doctrines of devil. Doctrines of devil. Speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with hot iron, beloved. Having their conscience seared. Now, when you talk about searing, you have to use a hot iron. You know, I, I remember growing up. You have we have this hot iron. You put you put it um, in the flame, and until it becomes red hot. And some even is that's what is used to mark make markings on cows and cattle. Okay, now it once you put it on the on the skin, it just burns it. 
So what he's saying is that these people who have abandoned the faith and are giving heed to seductive, seductive spirits are people who speak lies and hypocrisies and whose conscience have been burned. So it means that they have no conscience. Their consciences are dead. And if your conscience is dead, how can you even be convicted? So they begin to see evil as good and good as evil. And that's what we are up against, my beloved. He said they're giving heed to seductive spirit. Having their conscience is seared. We live in the last days and there are so many walking around. I mean, with strange doctrines. And sometimes you wonder, you and I wonder, whether or not even they have any convictions. Because they do things, you know, and you wonder how. You know, just recently, lately I heard of this, I heard of this guy who goes uh, to a place to, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, present something like a business plan or whatever it is and ended up getting so much money from the people who claiming I mean they this guy said they should invest in a business that he started so they put money in it and ended up losing all the money and what was the reason he said well COVID-19 see this is uh, this this we are living in dangerous times Dangerous times, and I'm speaking. Paul, Paul writes to Paul uh, Timothy for him to ad admonish, to uh, uh, instruct the believers. He says some have departed from the faith. How many people parading the pulpits? How many people on the television set? How many people in the radio? How many people on internet and the rest who keep on? I mean, who you and I think? Uh, preaching the gospel, how many of those haven't walked away from the faith, haven't abandoned the faith and given heed to seducing spirits, whose God has become, whose belly has become their God, and who mind earthly things, as Paul writes in the book of Philippians chapter 3, verse 18. He said, these people speak lies in hypocrisy, lying messages in hypocrisy, and they do it with glee because their conscience is seared, because they, are, they have a dead conscience. They have no convictions. They don't have any remorse for what they do. They don't even feel sorry when they are extorting money from elderly folks by using slag and all those things. They have no, they have no uh, sense of uh, remorse or sense of, uh, of, of, of sorriness. No, because their conscience it's dead. It is seared. That's what the Word of God is saying. Now, if you move over to uh, the book of Romans, chapter 1, Paul talks, describes, he says, people with God has given them to a reprobate mind. A reprobate mind. A reprobate mind is a mind that is unprincipled. Well, again, has, having no principle, just doing anything. And that's where he lists all the kinds of sins, adultery, fornication, homosexuality, lesbianism, all those things. They say God gave them up to a reprobate mind. So you take a reprobate mind and also a seared conscience, we have a problem. Serious problem, my beloved. That is why you and I have to hold fast to Christ and make sure we feed on the Word of God. Don't become uh, some like a little child who, who needs, uh, what do you call it, uh, the food we mashed and put into your mouth. No feed on the word of God. Otherwise, you end up being misled by these individuals who are walking around with a seared conscience. He said, they are forbidding, the feed, forbidding, forbidding many from, to marry. That's what they do. You know, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with hot irons, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats which God have created to be received with thanksgiving. Oh my, How, don't we hear it today? Don't eat this, don't eat that, okay? Don't eat meat, <laughs> eat just vegetables, don't do this, don't do that. All these things, and he said, meat that God has made if it is received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth, you know? Please, read the Word of God. 
my beloved. See, for every creature that God has created is good and nothing to be refused if it is received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. But these individuals who have walked away from the faith, that's what the Bible says, walked away from them, they have moved away from the faith. They once belong in the faith. They once belong to Christ. They once professed to be Christians. And in truth, indeed, they were Christians. But they have moved away from the faith. Something happened and they have abandoned the faith. And having abandoned the faith because of the love that they have for this world, Paul writes about Demas. He says, Demas has left me. Demas, in the book of Tim Timothy, he said, Demas has left me. Because of the love of this world, he left me. People abandoned the faith for the love of the material things of this world. And there are so many today who have abandoned the faith. Oh yes, they preach all right. But the end of their message always has to circle to money. And it is money, money, money. It is material things and it is doctrines of the devil. That's what he's talking about. It's a teaching. It says, seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 to 5. Please read it. I didn't put it there. It is in God's word. Read it and see. And I'm reading from the King James Version. You know, today there are so many versions that are coming and some have been, have been twisted just to suit the whims of those who want it to sound the way they want it to sound. But if you want to look at, you can go to the look at the original text if you want to, but don't think that the King James Version is in error. Okay? My beloved, this is God's word for you and for me. We are living in the last days, perilous times. And many have wandered away from the faith. They have abandoned Christ and they are teaching and they have yielded themselves to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Doctrines of devils. They cannot, they, they, they cannot endure the truth. When the word of God is proclaimed the way it ought to, they can't endure it. So they abandon it to be at a place where they will, you will hear they, they, they can do their own thing. So what do they do? Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with hot iron. When your conscience is seared with high hot iron, it is a serious and a dangerous thing. It means that your conscience is dead. You don't have any conscience. My beloved, the most, the most painful thing for anyone to have and endure is to have a conscience that is seared and to be given up to a reprobate mind. When you are giving up to a reprobate mind, you are rejected. God literally rejects you and gives you up to do what you want to do. It is my prayer that you and I will not be amongst those God, people whom God has rejected and given up to a reprobate mind. Okay, it is my prayer that your conscience and my conscience are not seared. Because when your conscience is seared, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, you will not have any conviction. You be, I mean, every good will be evil and evil will be good to you. But my prayer is that that will not be the case. Yield to God, dip yourself into prayer, dip yourself into the Holy Spirit, dip yourself in the grace of God, dip yourself in the Word of God. Bury yourself wholly in Christ, okay? And the Lord God Almighty Himself will keep you. Grace and peace to you. Go back and read the scripture again. God bless. Bye-bye.